Welcome back to Vaseline with Stu. We are in the simple equation. We are going into the American turn five. He's George has taken the central three buildings. My conscripts are holding him off on the flank and he's regrouping for a counterattack. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, we're here with George. We finally hooked up, starting our game. And uh, it is American turn five of simple equation. And he's made uh, an aggressive move right in the middle to take all three of those stone buildings. They will no longer be accessible to the Germans. And uh, he's made some headway on the right-hand side. And uh, hopefully that won't cause a pain in the butt for the Germans, but I think it will. And um, yeah, he's progressing now. Now he's going to make his big push for the big victory. The big V! And so, uh, uh, so George is ready to go. And uh, if you have any comments before and what you want, might want to do this turn, George, that's fine. And um, I'll just uh, mute my headset. I'll give you like 30 seconds and let me know what you need to do. All right? Okay. Um, quite frankly, I'm slightly clueless as to what I will do. <laughs> it's going to be a very challenging game, and uh, that fortress is going to be hard to take. Uh, that's about all I can say. So we're on with the game. Nice. Good. I like the text uh, thing that you're doing. Okay. All right, my man. Uh, good luck to you. And let's go with the rally phase American turn five. Yep. So, uh, let's see. I see only one unit. I see only one unit. Yep. Uh, one unit. And they can self rally it because it's my turn. Yep. So it would be uh, four or less because he's in a stone building. And what else? Oh. That's a, what else applies? Oh. Uh, minus one because he's doing a self rally, and plus one so it's because he's in a stone building, so it's even uh, three or less. Correct. Very good. Okay. There you go. I'm getting the hang of it. A lot of guys forget the plus one for self rally. It's easy to it's easy to forget. You just gotta boom boom. Essentially, so, if you're just like in a, if you're in the proper terrain, then it's just plus four. So it's just a, always a wash. But if you're not in a proper terrain, like say an orchard, then then you could be screwed. Like my guy that was out in the open, the seven zero that was like an H two, he rolled like a three. He needed a three, but I wasn't in rally terrain, so that would have rallied him. So uh, yeah, go for it, my man. Two rally. Here it comes. Oh, doesn't make it. Okay. Not the bad. DM the, comes off. the DM is removed. The DM is removed. Whew. This is going to be a crazy turn. Okay. We're going to start by doing some firing. All right. All right. And then some movement. Uh, you don't have to move. You can just stay where you are. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so let's uh, prep fire this fellow. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I got a rally. I'm sorry, I got a rally in X2. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I got some guys. I forgot that the uh, Germans are broken. I, I just didn't spot the DMs. Okay. So we will go for the uh, half squad in X2 first. He needs a base four. Rally terrain is five. Leaders makes it six. So he needs a rally of six. Ah, oh, I missed by one. And the unit behind him in W3, base five. Rally terrain is one, so he also needs a six. There we go. There's one bad boy up and right. We're ready to rock and roll. Mm. All right, he's good. And uh, my leader will swap the LMG with the squad above him. He'll do a, he'll do a support weapon transfer. Dosh and X3. I didn't do that last game, but it didn't really make a difference. So by last turn. All right, all right, got it. Almost forgot all that stuff. Go for it. Prep fire, big boy. Yep, prep fire. Uh, that's Rodriguez to um, the squad in here. W two. All right. And again, could I ask if you uh, if you could not use the um, uh, the circle thing, just just oh, okay, okay. because the the map like bounces all over hell and back. I'm sorry. 
No, it's okay. It's a small map, so if you just count, if you count, oh, four, three, six, right down the road, or something like that, or W two, or. Uh, Ron likes to use the circle thing. Yeah. The yeah, uh, it, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so uh, that would be a ten. Ten, and on the infantry fire table. Is there a 10? There's not a 10 on the infantry fire table. So what does that go down so I'm to? Looking, um, okay, it goes down to 8. I'm looking at the, the uh, normal fire table. Am I looking at that? And the rat char charts. I was looking at the rat charts. Uh, well, you can look at the rat charts, but there are no 10s on the rat charts. There aren't any. Nope. Not unless, it's, uh, not unless it's incremental. Okay. It's uh, right on the cover page, right? On the rat uh, charts. I think so. I don't have my rat charts with me. I just use the I just use the uh, the chart in game. Okay. So. Oh yeah yeah yeah. If you're uh, yeah go ahead go right ahead go right ahead. Eight plus three, correct? Uh, correct. Because it's a fortified location. Okay. And now I'm gonna click on the IFT button, right? Right. And you have a yes IFT button. Eight, nine, ten. Missed by one. Missed by one. I did not retain. Correct. Uh, okay. So now uh, the two sixes. Okay. Sixes will fire at the squad in V1. V1, yes, sir. Okay. So that is a uh, 12 plus three. Yep. Eight. 9, 10, 11. And again, another miss by simply one. Okay. Um, now we'll begin uh, movement. All good? Yes, sir. Okay, movement. We'll start with this squad here. And YM4. Gotcha, the guy in the back. Okay. Yep, one. Uh, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he's at our end. Cut. Two. All right, we may have to shoot him. Yep, we're going to shoot him. Uh, okay. 447 and V1 will have to take that shot. Okay. He will first fire. That's six firepower. Uh, you tell me what the modifiers are. Uh, minus two. Oh, sorry, not, uh, not quite six. It's going to be four. Uh, minus two for what? Uh, first fire non assault movement. Okay. And first fire moving in the open. Uh, look at U1. What does U1 do to that fire, if anything? Ah, that's a hindrance. Correct. So it's a minus, uh, that's a plus one for that hindrance, so it's a minus one only. Right, because that's inherent terrain. The orchard is inherent terrain. And so, uh, and my squad is out of is out of range. So instead of six, it'll be four. So that's a six hex range, but yet it's uh he's only has a four range. So he's two. The LMG is three, so that makes it five. But I will take the four minus one. I will try and take that. And boom, no rate, but that might be a pin task check, which is good. Okay, pin task check. Here goes six or less. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, he's good. So he's first fired. Uh, I'm going to leave residual there because I don't know what you're going to do. So that's going to be how much? You tell me how much residual I leave there. Is it one? The firepower. The firepower was four base. So it's two, half. And is there anything else that will affect the residual beyond just having? I'm not sure. The orchard will also reduce the residual. Oh darn. By one again? It will reduce it by the next lower column, yeah. So it will be a one firepower. Normally it would be two if that orchard were not there, but because the orchard is there and it hindered the fire, it will reduce it down one more. So it will go down to a one, which is better than nothing. All right, okay. you may continue. Oops. Three. Okay, I will um, sustain fire. Uh, I can't. Uh, you're good. I can't. I can't sustain fire the LMG. I would love to, but I can't. Okay. And four. You dirty rat. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna have to deal with that guy. We're gonna have to punish him. So. E E two. E E two. Mm -hmm. Oh well, E E two. Oh, on the other board. Okay, gotcha. Go right ahead. Assault move. Uh, back that way. Okay, you. Oh. Oh. Uh, hmm. He's going to be swamped. Oh, okay. Let's see. What is he going to do? I I will take that shot, my good sir. Um, I don't really want to. But that's not where I thought you'd go. Oh, this DM's gone. Um, yeah, because he's going to be swamped over here anyway. So we might as well shoot that guy. The C3, the 436 in the woods, will take that shot. Mm -hmm. That will be long range again, because it's 4x range. He'll take that shot at 2 minus 2, or 2 minus 1, since you're a uh, non assault, since you're assault moving. So 2 minus 1. I'll take that shot. Uh, that is a 4 on the 2 chart, which is a 1 morale check. 5 or less. Oh, barely missed it. Oh, he actually, that kind of helped him, to be honest with you. Strange as that may sound, that kind of helped him. Hmm. That's really strange. Tell me how that helped him, George. Well, he'll be able to um, to uh, retreat into EE2. Nope. And then, no? you, you may not go there. Why can't you well, go there? Uh, he's close to a non-enemy unit, a broken unit. Correct. He will be getting closer to the non-enemy unit. But how does that help you otherwise? Where, since you can't go to EE2, where can you go? CC2. CC2 is probably where you're going to go anyway. So you get a free movement out of it. <laughs> but you won't control it because you're broken. Yeah. You know, and when you rally, but that's essentially, it gets, it gets you a free movement phase to, to go that direction. So, But uh, at least you, you know, better than nothing. Sometimes being broken is a blessing. Sometimes it's not. That's why it's a crazy, crazy ass game. All right, continue your move. Okay. Um. One. Uh, tell me who's moving. Oh, sorry. It was uh, uh the squad in YG. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, just a J oh, J3K1. Uh, ooh. Oh, let me check the LOS. I mean, ooh. Oh. Go ahead, J2, huh? Yeah, all right. You baited me with the other guy. Go ahead. I can't shoot at him. 2 3. Okay. I'll be damned if he goes CX. You're good? Yep. Dang. Um, can I temporarily overstack a, a hex? You may not overstack an SK at any time. Well, not true. You can't overstack squads. If you overstack vehicles and you end the movement phase overstacked, one of the vehicles is automatically destroyed. So I can move through a, a, a hex containing three squads. You continue my movement. only if you're a leader. You may uh, not. You may not overstack squads at any time. Right. Okay, only single man counters. Right. Which time. is which is different than which is different than ASL. That's a big that's a big difference between ASL and starter kit is you may overstack. You get a penalty, but you may overstack. But it actually blocks your movement. There's a lot of games I've played where like we gotta get guys off the board or we wanna move units up forward to drop smoke, and there's like a big fat stack in your way. It's like you gotta split it all up and it it, it gets messy. It gets messy, but yes, you uh you may not overstack. So I may have to uh 
um, the squad and I2. I2, we'll yes. Roll, we'll roll for smoke. Okay, to what location? And I1. Okay. Smoke attempt placement. Is, is he moving with the leader? He would be moving with the leader. Okay. All right. If the smoke attempt doesn't fail. Right. Well, what they're moving, what they're doing is they're moving together. So, like, if I were to fire on him, and if the leader's moving with him, then the leader would be subject to that fire. But if the leader's not moving with the squad, then he he would not be subject to any defensive first fire on him. Okay. So I just wanted to, I didn't know if you were moving the leader with him or not. Uh, not that I could fire on him, but um, you know, it happens. But go ahead, smoke, drop your smoke, and I one. So one die roll, I need a two, correct? Correct. Next oh, one. there it is. And so that will be a two movement factor expenditure for both units. Okay. Uh, and it costs an additional point to, to move into a smoke hex, correct? It costs an additional movement factor to move into a smoke hex, correct. So where do I get the smoke from? Smoke counter should be on your top bar. Uh, it should be in one of your drop down menus. Uh, I've actually edited my menu to make it uh, easier for me to pick up stuff. Like uh, I get a lot of tank stuff in the. I got tank stuff in one drop down. Like prisoners, a bunch of weird stuff. I've got all my control markers and weird overlays. Another one. So I'm not sure where yours. But I'll grab the smoke too if you want. But um, is it smoke level two or smoke? The green smoke level two. Yeah, I got all my smoke and blazes in one drop down menu. And that way, and that's a solid because a lot of uh, smoke is extremely important. So you want to have that handy dandy for sure. So you already expended. Two movement factors. Two movement factors. Right. Yes. Going to the smoke will be another two that makes a four. Correct. And going to the woods would be a six. Correct. Or go to Y1 it would be only five. So you can make it to Y2 at six. You stroll down the road. It's a paved road, so you can move faster. I'll give you half movement factors for the paved road if you want to go down the paved road. And there's no, uh, there's no bypass. No bypass. Ha. Huh. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> big difference. Yeah, I, uh, I played, uh, I finished a starter game uh, the other day, and I played a ASL game last night, and my brain like almost exploded because the the different movement factors. Uh, what was it? I have like five different elevations in the map and lots of weird terrain, and uh, it makes your mind work. So it makes it exciting. It's, it's an exciting. It's exciting to play with crazy terrain. I remember watching your dash for the bridge. And you were talking about the bypass movement, and uh, it's huge. It's huge. It changes the game. It changes the game. So. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a four. Two, four. Correct. And I may fire on you in that location. Okay. So if you go there and I fire on you, you're going to have the plus two smoke, which is going to negate the movement in the open. And you'll have minus one non-assault move, so that'll be a plus one. Uh, so if I fire on you there, it's uh, if you move into either one of the woods, it's going to actually be an easier shot for me. So I will not fire. Hmm. Although that would stick you out and kind of in the open, so it's kind of nice. But or if you were to pin, but I don't have a lot of units that can see you. I don't think uh, that might be tight. But you may proceed. While I'm freezing my butt off with my AC. Okay. Oh, that was a stupid move on my end. Now you can move back. Yeah. No. So I have a choice. Either I go to that's eight, twelve, uh, plus one, or that would be four, eight, twelve. And that's a uh, suicide. Suicide, not good. 
suicide. Pick suicide. Ah, that side, huh? All right, we have to fire on you there. Mm -hmm. I have to see if anybody else can make it to my Jason Hex. One, two, three, four, CX. I don't have a problem with that. Uh... Hmm. I've got a lot of units that could fire in that location. First of all, let me... One, two, three is four, so I can't fire him over there, unfortunately. All right, darn it. So Zorn... Zorn will fire, um, uh, you know what? There's a smoke there. Those guys are going to be moving up. I don't want to blast everything. Six. The problem is that's a nine morale unit. That's a nine morale leader. So essentially I have a nine and eight morale. So I need to get a good shot on you. I need at least eight firepower on you. I don't want to shoot everything because that means all your guys will be free to move. Um, we'll fire. We'll fire Zorn and the conscript beneath him. He will fire at four even, a minus one non assault movement, and the woods cancel each other out. So it's going to be a four even shot. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be nothing. That will leave uh, two residual though, because he does not cower. Um, I don't think anybody else can get to that woods. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they might. You know, we are. We're going to subsequent first fire, Zorn. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be two even as well. Mm -hmm. Seven on the two is miss. All right. Let's see what else we can drum up. Uh, Dosh in the back will fire. Six plus, six even for Dosh. Uh, seven is probably the best I'm going to get. Seven, that's a normal morale check. Leader first. Leader first. Makes, Makes it. it. Uh, the squad needs an eight or less now. Mm-hmm. Squad morale check. Okay, he's good. All right, you're good. No other fire. No other fire. No other fire. Okay. Uh, that's pretty ineffective. I was hoping to get something going on there, but I can't fire everybody because the rest of his squads will be able to move freely. I don't want that to happen. If a unit goes C CX, how much uh, additional moving factors does he have? Well, how much do you think? Uh, two more. Two more moving factors. Hmm. So instead of four, we can go six. Or eight. He will go CX. He is Y E four. Okay, I see him. So it's hold on. One, two. Okay. Three. Uh, we will subsequent first fire on that location. That will be a two minus two mm -hmm. on that guy there. Uh, seven on the two. Is that anything? That is a miss. And hold on. I've got other shots. So that is going to be one residual. And one, two, three, four, five, six.
okay, let's see. We are going to fire the LMG and one squad with Strobel. Mm -hmm. That will be, um, uh, you know what? Two, four, two, four, six. We're going to fire the whole shebang. Mm hmm. Strobel and the whole shebang will fire directly at him. Let's drop it in line of sight. That will hind be hindered by the orchard only. Well, there's not much of a building next to it, is there? So that'd be two, four, seven firepower. Uh, mm -hmm. Your minus one non assault movement is canceled by the orchard, but I have a negative one leadership modifier, so it's going to be a six minus one. Mm -hmm. uh, five on the six chart is a only a one morale check. It's not much. It's five on the six chart? Yes. It is a one morale check, so he needs five or less. Yep. Yes. So we flip him. Yes. And the CX will come off. Mm -hmm. And that will leave... Uh, how, many, how many residual firepower will that leave? Uh, let's see. You fired on the six. Six chart. Six chart. Half would be three. Because of the orchard, it goes down to one. Right. So it doesn't change. No. Okay. 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 Now this fellow's going to go CX as well. So he goes one. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Well, can I take that one back? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we were at uh, one, three. two, three. Uh, four and a half. Nope, just four. That's one moving factor. Four. All right. Um, we. I don't think that's a blocked LOS. We're going to subsequent for his fire, Strobel and his buddies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check the LOS. LOS in Star Kit maps is pretty porous. So that's a straight shot. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a two, four, five and a half. So that'll be a four minus two mm -hmm. because the hindrance no longer applies because you are in the hindrance. Mm -hmm. So it's not assault and the minus one leader. So it'll mm -hmm. be a four minus two. And I have to fire the LMG or, yeah, I have to fire. So four minus two. So that is a seven on the four, which is a, oof, pin, chat, pin task check. Okay, so I take a pin task check, a TC. TC. <sighs> when he passes, how much residual is left in that location? Uh, I think it's another one. Calculated how? Let's see. You fired on a six on a six chart. I fired on a four chart. And you fired on a four chart. Okay. Uh, half would be two. The hindrance doesn't count. So what am I saying one for? Is I don't know. Isn't it two? It's two. You're correct. It's... Boom. Gotcha. All right. One, two, three, four. That is four movement factors. You may continue. And he moves into the building. Which building do he, does he want to move into? Um, having a broken squad in a building doesn't count as taken, correct? Correct. You're not in good order. So he'll go into here. And that was a dumbass move what I did. I should have gone there to begin with. That's all right. Hmm. You're probably heading for AA2. That's, that's fine. It's all good. Okay. Mm. You're alive. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Sometimes silly things turn out. For sure. Okay. Uh, YG4. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. 
and uh, yj3 yes one two three okay That a one. Uh, where'd you move from? Uh, D five. D three. D three to D four. D three to D. You mean D five? Uh, I was in D three. The flint tower. Well, D three is right adjacent by four three six. So you were next to the flint. You were next to flint, right? Mm. You were right here, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's just entering a wood sex. That's two. Two. And four. Two, four. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll final protective fire. Okay. I'll take that shot. It's going to be it's a free shot, so I'm going to die otherwise. So I might as well take the shot. That's a flamethrower. So that is a four firepower. And what are the modifiers? Uh, even. Even. I did assault move. I still get uh, a minus one, even though I'm going into the. Uh, I'm in the woods. Well, the woods is plus one, right? Woods are plus one. It's non assault movement, right? So uh -huh. it's minus one. Right. Uh, and I'm not moving in the open. What's on so the back side? What's on the back side of the flamethrower? Oh, another minus one. Yeah. Yep. So that'd be a four minus one. I will take it. Okay. And it was a morale check for B, so I'm okay. And you are a uh, one morale check. And that's uh, five or less. Wow, that's huge. And how much residual is in that location? Uh, you fired on a force. It's a two. Yep. Uh, doesn't go down for being in the woods. No, only hindrances well, between the targets, between the target location. Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So now here is a different story in terms of final protective fire because you're only gonna have well, you're gonna have six firepower. But it's gonna be plus one instead of 24 even right so in this instance i will not take the final protective fire because you're gonna be four even which means if i roll a six i'm gonna be pinned i'd love to take that shot but i can't afford for him to be broken uh okay. if he can stay alive he can stop that entire side because i could just back up another hex so I'm going to hopefully not get shot by your buddy in here. So I'm taking a chance on that one. All right. No, no other fire from that guy. Okay. Uh, defensive fire phase. Okay. Oh, yeah. We can do control F. Defensive fire phase. I have probably nothing. Let's see. All my guys first fired. Uh, he's final. Can't do anything. Okay. No defensive fire. Okay. Advanced fire. Advancing fire phase? Mm -hmm. Advancing fire phase? Yes. So, uh, my 666 in uh, J1. J1. Um, so, he's halved. That goes down to three. And he has a salt uh, fire. Mm -hmm. So... That goes up to round it up. Goes to four. Correct. Uh, two v one. Yes. So four plus three. Yes. Correct. Mm hmm. Okay. Misses. Okay. Um. It's inherent firepower, so I put advancing fire here. Uh, again, it's a uh, inherent firepower. Um, and P2 to V1, that's up four. Oh, right. If he has LOS, uh, it's close, yeah. All right, 
You yeah. want to check it? It looks yep, clear. It, it looks clear. Scratch, okay. Scratches right. the woods, but it's clear. So that's uh, four up. Four. Yes. Yep. That guy likes the four up four shot, doesn't he? Hey. Yep. So uh, that's a five plus four, nine. Doesn't make sure. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Close. Um, well, Greco. Greco, he's going to advance fire. Fall Hey, babe. Quick, so, don't think about it. Is there meatloaf? Uh, meatloaf. There we go. Two. Where are we going? Two X two. X two. Gotcha. All right. Wow, big boy. Two. He's gonna DM my guy. Huh? DM that conscript half squad. Ah, uh, you're a. Oh, wow, man. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. Shoot and conscripts. Broken mm. conscripts. Well, I'm after the leader, actually. Minus <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. True that. So, and there's a big fat stack there, so. Yeah. Looks attractive, like the toy in Kellogg's uh, Rice Krispies, I suppose. Yeah, so attractive. <laughs> yeah. A All little right. Formula One plastic car. So um, that squad also has a salt fire. Mm -hmm. Two and a half goes up to three, plus two goes to four plus one, if I calculated everything correctly, with the MG. Uh, the MG may not fire. Oh, how darn. So two and a half. Two and a half. Rounding up doesn't take me to four. No, but the plus one does. Plus you, one. You half round up, add one. Okay. Uh, so that's a four plus one. Four plus one. Nothing. A 10 is a miss, thank goodness. He doesn't cower because he's a leader. Right. And advancing fire here. All right. I know I shouldn't have left the door open, but... So that's... Uh... A six. Yes, sir. A six. Why is it a six? Swap. Uh, halved. It's two point five. Well, oh, don't 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 calculate the halved. Just halved and doubled because you're halved for advanced fire and doubled. So that well, you don't have to Plus think. One. You don't have to half anything. So you just halved and double cancel. Yep. So then you just add one. Yep. So it's much easier. A lot of guys will waste a lot of time. Like if they have two or three squads, they'll do all the halves, all the fractions, and then double. It's like to halved and double. Just it's just it's a wall. It's like, uh, it's like moving in woods. You don't. There's no. There's no tem. Okay. So you don't have to calculate, but yeah, gotcha. Six, yeah, to, to have that. But yeah, technically you do have it, and then you double it, and then you add one. But the quick and dirty of it. So that's a that's a nasty six plus one shot. That's a that's a good shot. Okay. Missed, Eight, missed by one. Wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's a good shot though. That is a good shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what you can do. I'm silly. All right. So is that it okay. for your advance fire? I, th I think so. Yep. Route. Route phase. I have one unit, but you have a couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a bunch of squads coming up on me. I don't know. Okay, I ride first. Yes, sir. Right here. Then this fellow goes one, two, three, four. Okay. These guys go uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And I believe that's the only route I have. Okay, the conscript will route back for me. Okay. You can take the leader with them. I could. Strobel kind of doesn't really care about those guys anymore. He's tried to rally him a couple turns, and yeah, you know, Gawk. They the Gawk is just the the people's choice. You know, the okay. people just love to rally around Gawk. Okay. 
and Dosh, well, Dosh is just, he's the good looking one. He's in the back. He's, he's keeping himself pretty. That's where all the food is back there. That's the food storage that we have for the troops. Hmm. Uh, advance phase? Hold on one second. Uh, advance phase. Yes, advance phase. Okay, squad over at uh, P2. Yep. We'll advance into P1. Okay. Uh, Greco, with this squad and MMG, will advance from Z0 to Z1. The unit that went CX, can he advance as well? Yeah, why not? Uh, this fellow will advance here, and one squad will advance into the woods. Okay. Uh, the leader will advance onto the broken unit. And, um... I'm going to be audacious and advance onto your 4th D6. Yep. Okay, cool. Very cool. Anything else? That's it. Okay, so we have an ambush in C3. I'm a bush. I am hmm uh, I don't know if the concept of lax is in starter kit let me get my starter kit so. let me get my starter kit chart sure okay uh, ambush modifiers inexperienced it says plus one for inexperienced so that would be the equivalent, semi equivalent to um, uh, the lax in ASL. So, because the uh, Vazel doesn't have the ASK, they simplify it down to, to simply being inexperienced. So, that's plus one for me, and um, that's it. And so, uh, you're even, and I'm plus one. Okay. So, my roll is a four, which is a five. Okay, and I do a one die roll as well. Mm hmm. I don't want to die roll as well, right? Sure. Yep. And you roll a five. Okay, cool. So no ambush there. So we're just a straight up shot. Okay. So what are the odds? Looks like one to one. Yeah. One to one for you and one to two for me. Whew. Man, I hate one to two. Four to five is terrible. I go first. I need a five or less. Mm -hmm. I need a five or less. Yes. And it's the CC button. Correct. All right, there's a kill, and mm -hmm. I need a four or less, and that is not a kill. So he is gone. So that thorn in your side is finally gone. Mm. That's too bad. That's a good CC right there. He deserves a medal of honor. He sure does. I think he broke he like off. 15 units over there. Hmm. He, held, he and the other guy held off like four or five squads, so that's huge. And he broke he broke two squads that turn. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely good. Absolutely good. Good deal. Loved it if he would have kept that guy in close in a CC though. <laughs> but the four, uh, the four, it was never meant to be. He was out of ammo. Out of yeah. ammo. Okay. Thanks for watching this turn of simple equation germans are still holding fast in the center of the city the americans are making their way on the flanks maybe making that last stretch to get those victory conditions completed and we'll see what happens in the next installment of vaseline stew thank you for watching